According to numerous studies conducted, grass cutter is one of the lucrative form of livestock farming currently ongoing in Ghana. My name is Enyunam. Thanks for joining us on The Ghanaian Farmer. Get interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. Our focus, the spotlight today, is on grass cutter farming. Coming up as a highlight, a video that put more spotlight on grass cutter farming. When I come back, I'll be engaging a pastor, a corporate worker, who also finds time to, you know, delve into grass cutter farming on a commercial scale and he tells me the money I'm making is more than any other thing you can imagine. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying. Gone by was a profile on grass cutter farming here in Ghana and if you just tune in you're watching the Ghanaian farmer. Wherever you're watching us from let's hear from you. Get interactive on our social media platform. Thank you very much Pastor Ziggy. Thank you. Is it Ziggy? Yeah it's Ziggy. Yes. <laughs> Nice meeting you. Thank you. Now, your journey in grass cutter farming okay. is very intriguing. Yeah. Now, when was, when was the year or in which year did you come in contact with grass cutter that you fell in love with the animal? Yeah, exactly February 23rd, uh, 2016. Okay. Yeah, that was when I, I saw a grass cutter live one that they are railing. You know, we, we, the, the, the mindset is grass cutters are from the bush. Yes. And they live in the bush. Mm. I didn't even thought that it can be rare in the house. So the first day that I saw grass cutter really in the house was 23rd February 2016. Okay. And that was the exactly day that I bought one. Okay. Yes. So when you bought it, yeah. what was the mindset? Was it for you to raise, to grow big and then you consume or sell? Exactly. Uh, I didn't know it's, it's, it can be a business. So mm. my mind is, let me have these grass cutters when they grow. Mm. I enjoy them because grass cutter meat is something that I love. Okay. So that was the mindset. Okay. So how many did you buy? I bought only three by then. Three? Yes. How much was it sold in 2016 for you? Uh, 2016, it was 40 cities. By then, we call it 400,000. Uh, 400, but okay. now it's 40 cities. Right. Yes. So I bought three by then, mm. which is 120 cities. But by then, it was 1.2 million. Okay. Yeah, that, that, those are, that, that was yes, then. Yes, yes. Back yeah. in the days. Yes. Okay. So you bought three? Yeah, I bought three. Do we have varieties? And which colors did you buy? Uh, I bought the normal color. By then, we... Uh, I didn't know there's something like that. Mm, so mm. I bought the normal color, the bush color. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So when you arrived home, mm. at what point in time, how many weeks or days did you realize that, no, this can be a business? Uh, it was about two, uh, two months mm -hmm. when they were growing nicely and then people were coming around. Mm. They were asking me, ah, we need some. How much is it going to be? They want to buy. Mm. Even somebody was forcing me that the trade that I have, I should sell some. Okay. And I said, no, it can't be that. So I have the mindset that, no, oh, this thing can be a business because the way people were are coming around and they want it mm. i decided to do it big okay yes so when then did you settle and and finally know this i need to go and buy more and then start so after the two months yes i went back to uh, my boss who is mr sadik right yeah so i i bought some from him again mm -hmm. i bought another by then I, when i went the second i bought five okay which is uh, three female mm -hmm. and two males okay. so from then every month when i take my salary mm -hmm. You buy more. I, I buy. I don't save again. Okay. Well, every month I have some money that I save. Right. But now I don't save the money. Okay. I use the money to go and buy more. Okay. And it got to a time I mm. decided to use all the money that I have, my mm. savings, I withdraw all, and mm. then I use all to buy grass cutter. Okay. If I want to zoom into grass cutter farming, yeah. what are the basics I need to put in place? Yes. Uh, you know, grass cutters are. In, if you want to start a grass cutter farmer, yes. a fa uh, farm now as mm. a farmer, mm -hmm. the first thing you have to look at is the location, the location. environment. Okay. Yes, because why is it important? It's very important because grass cutters, you know, they 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 are active in the night. Okay. They rest, they sleep in the day. Okay. So you have to get a place that during the daytime they can rest, mm. so that there will be no much noise. Mm -hmm. Maybe like roadside when there is a roadside cars are park, passing, they are making those noise. They don't like it. Okay. And then maybe you have uh, these uh, grinding machines, mm. they are making noise. So and anywhere there is noise, noise. it's not suitable, no, it's not suitable for, for grass cutter farming. Cutters, no. So if I have identified the spot, yeah. the location, yeah. what next? The next is you have to look for the cage. Okay. Yes. In the cage, we have three types of cage. Okay. We have the wooden ones, mm -hmm. we have the metal one, mm -hmm. and then we have the concrete one. Okay. Uh, in Ghana here, a lot of us, we are doing a wooden one. Mm. Like then, what we see behind yes, us yes. now. Okay. The wooden one mm -hmm. and then the metal one before, I think, 
only four people have mm. not doing a uh, uh, concrete grass cutters in, in Ghana here. Okay. Only four people that have visited their family they are doing concrete. The rest we are all using wooden one. Okay. And the reason is <laughs> the wooden one because I cry here. Mm. Uh, a lot of us we are in rented places. Yes. When you do the wooden one, it is easy. Movable. Movable. When maybe one day you are moving from that place, mm. you can just take your cage, you are going. Mm. But the concrete one is for those who are at a permanent place. Okay. If you that own one, the property you yourself, own the, yes. it's advisable, it's to, advisable go to go for concrete. Yeah. Mm. But the metal one, I mm. won't advise anybody to go into it because the metal one is not uh, helping at all. Okay. It's very expensive mm. and doesn't last long. Mm. Within two years, mm -hmm. you have to throw it away and do another one mm. because of the urine. When okay. the urine is so acidic and those things, right. so it's, it destroys the, the oh, metal okay. cages. All right. So after I have my structure yeah. set up, mm. how much minimum do you think I can start with to uh, go and buy the animals? Okay. After you have the structure already, mm -hmm. you're just looking for the animal. Mm -hmm. That one depends on your capital. Okay. And also depend on the idea how mm -hmm. you want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to do it big? Mm -hmm. Do I want to do it small? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it is going to be big, mm -hmm. we also advise big that. Big as in commercial. Yes, commercial. Okay. Even if, if that one, we we advise you that you should start gradually. Okay. You have to start gradually, mm -hmm. and before you even buy the animal, you need a training. Mm -hmm. Grass is not like goat; you just go and buy and put in the house. No. All right. You need to go to through a proper training. Okay. There are so many things you have to know about grass cutter. Mm -hmm. With that training. <laughs> Don't try. Mm. <laughs> because they're living till one day you go, they will die. Okay. Yeah, something right. that shouldn't have killed your animal will mm. kill it because you don't have an idea about it. Okay. So when you get a place, mm -hmm. you get your cage, yes. you need a training. Mm. You have to go for training. Mm. Yes. Mm. Then so the after my training, after your training, then I can buy my you animals. can buy your animals. Okay, how many female, how many male do you advise I start Yes, with? We, we, we sell it mm -hmm. in a colony. Okay. And that colony means three females mm -hmm. and two males. That okay. is the one colony. Right. That is how we sell it. Okay. Yes, and now mm. the current price, mm -hmm. you know, the reason why sometimes I don't like mentioning price. Mm -hmm. You mentioned this price today. Mm -hmm. Somebody is watching us today. Mm -hmm. Five years time, mm. the person will call you and say, oh, uh, but you said it the other time that this is the price. Mm. But the current price now mm. is uh, 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 one is 200 cities. 200 cities yes. presently? Yes. Okay. But somewhere in 2016, yeah, you it bought it around? 40 cities. Okay. Yeah. So now we know that things have increased. Yes. Hence, prices will definitely adjust. Uh, definitely. So after my training, I get my animals. You get the animals. And then yes. I stock them. Yes, they stock them. Okay. What mm. kind of food do you mm. feed grass cutters yeah even their names alone tell you mm. they eat grass because okay. their name is grass cutters so i see some yes maize is, yes <laughs> yeah. all right let's go so mm -hmm. we have some maize here mm -hmm. and that is their their main food their main food yes. is maize yes you know grass cutters maize they sticks. Eat, yeah, is it the maize, sticks or the, the, stick. the this thing the itself stick. the stick yes after the maize the fresh maize has been harvested uh-huh then we cut the stick and we feed them with the animals. Okay. That is do how they we do eat it. the stick and the leaf or is just the stick? The stick, the leaf, the leaf everything, everything about the maize. The stick, it. the leaf, okay. even the corn husk, mm. the fresh corn, the, even the corn stick, everything. They um, eat it. Yes, everything about how, If it is fresh. Mm, okay. Yes. How many times do you feed them in a day at that young stage? Uh, you know, Sometimes, mm -hmm. when you tell somebody that, oh, okay, I feed my animals once, mm. then they also go practicing the same thing in a wrong way. Mm. I feed my animals once, and then I give them enough food that can take them the whole day. Okay. When I say I feed them once, doesn't mean I, I give them, I put the food in their cage, mm -hmm. and they themselves, they regulate the time to eat, the time not to eat. It's just like you are in the house mm -hmm. and you have food in the house. Yes. That doesn't mean you eat all. No. You eat more now. As and after you are time you eat, Yes. Mm. So that is how we also do it. We okay. put the food inside. Morning time they will eat some. Mm -hmm. Afternoon time they will eat some. Mm. In the night they will keep on eating. Mm. So the next till day. the next day. Okay. So that is it. Okay. So you that you don't have time to be feeding the morning mm. and evening. Mm. You can do put it once enough. a day, but okay. put enough. Okay, that can Don't take say, them. Reverend, say once. Mm. So you go and put the, you put food inside, and even in the evening you came, they finish the food, but you say, you oh, it is once. Always no. Okay. So always you have mm. to make sure that it's food. Mm. And if you are giving them food once a day, you have to make sure the following day when you come, there should be a leftover. Okay. That means they have eaten well. Mm. But if you come the following day and mm -hmm. there's no leftover, mm. that tells you the next day, if you are, if you are giving them another food, mm -hmm. you have to increase the food. How long does it take grass cutter to mature? Uh, one and a half years. That's the, the, the for consumption. Mm -hmm. The mature meals mm. for consumption. One and a half years, two years. 
then they are one, one and a half years is 13 months yes or 24 months yes it depends on the farmer yes whether i want to sell after one and a half yeah. years yeah. or two years yes. hey so i'll be feeding these people for the next uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right uh, that is that is the that is a mature grass that we call for consumption okay but even if they are one year you can uh -huh. consume them okay even seven months you can consume but right for it to be mature right for selling uh -huh. for uh, uh, those who are coming for maybe soup and those mm, things mm. we reserve it for one and a mm, half years mm. that is okay. how we do it reverend mm. how many babies mm. can a female grass cutter mm. give you at a go uh, even one is there mm. two is there mm. three is there mm -hmm. But the average one mm. is four, five. Okay. That one is common. Okay. One and two is not common. Mm. Scarcely. Mm. I've experienced it in my farm. I okay. think uh, I've seen it two times before. Mm. Uh, my animals, one has given birth to one before, mm. another one has given birth to one before. Mm. Uh, two, two, I've, I've experienced it. Mm. But those ones are not common. Okay. Once a while, right. you see it. Okay. But four, five is common. It's common. Six, seven mm. is there. Mm. Eight, nine is there. Mm. Even some people have experienced uh, twelve. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long does the pregnancy take before it delivers? Five months. Five months. Yes. The when pregnancy cross, takes five months. Yes. And the babies, you can get between four, five, six and above. Yes. All the way to even two of them. Yes. All the if way. you are lucky. Yeah. All right. What kind of weather is mm -hmm. good for, you know, grass cutter farming? Because mm -hmm. there's so much sunlight yes. here. Mm -hmm. Are they okay in this temperature? Yes, they are okay. Okay. Uh, grass cutter farm, you have to regulate the weather. Okay. They don't like too much heat. Mm -hmm. They don't want too much cold. Mm. So you, the farmer, mm -hmm. you have to regulate it. Mm. If they're in the bush, mm. they do their own thing. But mm. as you bring them, you mm -hmm. have to regulate it. Mm. If the weather is too cold, mm -hmm. we cover it. Okay. And then at that time, we have things that we do. Mm. When the weather is too cold, we leave some leftovers in their cages mm. to generate some heat for them. Okay. Yeah, but if the weather too is too hot, mm -hmm. every day we do cleaning. We clean everything every day. Right. And then we allow ventilation. Okay. Yeah, that is how it is. If not for the purpose of hot or mm -hmm. cold weather, mm -hmm. how often do you clean the cages? It's supposed to be a daily basis. Daily? Every day. Okay. If you didn't do it daily, mm. at least two time, two days, you have to clean everything. Every two days, every you two have to days. do it. Yes. Okay. Is there any difference between the grass cutter red in the house and that in the bush? Uh, yes, I may say so. What's the difference? Uh, the difference might be like uh, those in the bush, mm. uh, they are very aggressive mm -hmm. than those in the house. Oh, okay. That is the major difference. Right. Those in the bush, mm -hmm. they see human beings to be mm. an enemy. Mm. While those in the house, they see us as their friend. Okay. But we are feeding them. Right. Yes. What happens to the feces? Yes, uh, the feces, uh -huh. you know, those days when we are in the village, when mm. you go to the farm, mm -hmm. Even the feces, people pick it to use to prepare their yeah, abeng kwai and yeah, those things. Yeah. Yes, but in Accra like this, uh -huh. we clear it and then we send it to the farmers. They use okay. it for manure. Right. Yes, we use it for manure. Okay, so you yeah. give the feces to the farmers for manure. Yes, for manure. Now, yeah. let me take you back a bit. Okay. The feed, which is the maize sticks yeah. that you feed them with, yeah. do you buy it? Yes, we pay for it. How do they, you know, scale it or how do they count it to uh, you sell know, they, for you? Accra here, yeah, they plant the thing in line. Okay. So if you are going to buy, they count the line. And that one's also depend on the season. You know, some seasons you go, it is free. Yes. Why it is free? By then, like this time, uh -huh. it's common. Okay. So if I come to your farm and you say mm. I should buy, mm. I will go to another place. Okay. Who and we we'll pick it for free. Yes, because that place. So what we are doing, we are cleaning the farm for yes, you. Yes. You, the farmer, supposed to pay us. Yes. But because we demand for it, right. you know, every when the demand is high, mm -hmm. so. Uh, we go and then they sell mm -hmm. it for us line by mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. Sometimes maybe three line, five cities. Sometimes one line, five cities. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes mm -hmm. you can even go and you not get some. Okay. Sometimes if you go to the bush, we see fighting of our mistake. It will, it will surprise you. <laughs> Farmers sometimes the way we fight, people enjoy each other. Okay. It's, it is a struggle. Right. So during those times, yes. is there any option at all as a feed for a grass <laughs> That is That is uh, when we see those who are farmers. <laughs> Because those are the time uh -huh. you have to do everything possible to get food for your animals. Okay. And then that is the time people uh, deviate mm. from being organic 
trying to buy some feed and mm. things given mm. to the animals. Mm. And when you do that, the animal is no more organic. Okay. It has become like poultry. Right. And there's a lot of effect. Okay. Uh, which will not go to that places okay. now. Yeah. Okay. So the understanding, it depends on the season. It depends on the season. If the season is the bumper or the rainy season, yeah. you are likely to get for free. Oh, yes. But during the dry season, uh, the few ones that are left, you have to buy. You have to buy. Okay. So, Reverend, if I have to wait for one and a half years or two years, mm. How much do I sell each of my grass cutter? Uh, for now, uh, the mature mills. Uh -huh. You know, the whole thing is, is marketing. Okay. So I'm not talking on behalf of all the farmers. No, as you. Yes. Uh, because for me, if you uh -huh. come to my farm, mature right. mills, uh -huh. I sell them 400 cities. Mm. Some people, somebody sell them 500. Mm. People sell it 600. Mm. Somebody sell it 800. Mm. And I want to depend on the, 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 the grass cutter. Okay. The normal color is the 400 I'm talking about. Right. But the white ones, sometimes uh -huh. we sell some of the white ones, 700 cities, the males, hey. and then 800 cities. Grass cutter? Yes. The color determines the ah, cost? Ah, the color. Why? Does it come with any sweetness or extra no. nutrients or what? The only thing is color. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even human beings, we uh -huh. value colors. Yes, of course. Uh, there when, are men who like fair women. Uh, there are those who like the yeah. dark skin. Yes. All right. So the color determines the, price. the cost. Yes. Is grass cutter farming profitable from 2016 till now? Is it profitable? <laughs> Very profitable. You know, when we wanted to start and wanted to do it big, some people were saying this is not good, this is not profitable, but we take the risk to enter. And okay. now we are, we want to, I, I want to say it boldly right. to everybody who wants to do grass cutter that grass cutter farming is more profitable. Okay. If you have the passion right. and you do it well. Uh -huh. If you didn't do it well, don't expect any result. Okay. But if you put in more effort. Right more input uh -huh. the output is nice okay as i'm telling you at right, a point you have to sell your van oh, to actually buy more yes. animals you know i was having this road that they have been using from a uh -huh. flower. Uh -huh. you know these drivers when they bring 500 Ghana cities this week as a sales next two weeks they are coming back to come and take 600 Story. Ghana cities for I know. repair and those things and the money is not coming so, so when so, i was doing mm, the grass cutter and the thing mm, was moving and mm. then one day I you decided to sell the van. Uh, one day I was there, they called me that something I spoil and this and this. I said, okay, they should bring the car. After we are finished, I said, I won't use it again. Okay. I sell it. All right. Red. When I want to use mm. the money to buy grass cutter, mm. mm. in fact, it, everybody thought I'm getting crazy. How can you sell a car to buy grass cutter? <laughs> the boxing ring that was yes. mounted in your house. They, 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 it they, was they, not they, easy. Why should right. a, a normal person you okay. sell a car? Uh -huh. You used to go and buy grass cutter. Right. But today, uh -huh. I sell grass I, I bought different cars. <laughs> yeah, Rev, the, the finally, <laughs> finally, yeah. in a year, mm -hmm. when you are wrapping or rounding up your sales, yeah. how much revenue do you generate? Yeah. Averagely, not not the actual figure. One Averagely, year. yes. A whole one year. Yes. Hey, when you are big, rounding up your sales, <laughs> it's big money. Yeah, yeah, just give me an average figure. How uh, much you, are we looking at? Uh, because you, you, let's bring it to mentally. So that we can calculate All right. it. Let's because, do a monthly sales. Because imagine a month, mm -hmm. if I, let, let me take it that every month I have about uh, 50 babies. Okay. That 50 babies is 10 colonies. Yes. And one colony is 1,000 Ghana cities. So the, the 10 colonies is 10,000. Mm. Mm. So that it, it is 10, co colonies. you know, 10 colonies. Ten colonies. Yes, 10 <laughs> colonies. I'm selling 10 colonies every month. Mm. So which is 10,000 Ghana cities every month. So within one year, 10,000 times 12. Then you take your expenses, mm -hmm. you have some few workers that I pay them. Mm -hmm. But roughly every month, I have about my 5,000 there from the grass Every month. Every month. So uh, that, yeah. one, that one cry is, the, is, is something we're just talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, something All right, about. so viewers, yeah. you're still watching <laughs> The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Anyanam. Today's spotlight is on grass cutter farming. A little is being said about them. And so we decided to put a spotlight and promote this form of livestock farming please if you're out there and you think about pig goats cow and all that poultry pay attention grass to cow. grass cutter farming yes. so standing next to me is reverend dominic ziggy he's also a grass cutter farmer and his farm is somewhere here in accra this is what we call urban farming yes. and so i'm going for a quick break that when i come back his senior the big man himself will be joining me and then we'll look at are there any challenges as well? We'll talk about the nice things. Yes. Are there any challenges that are associated with grass cutter farming? I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime Television. My name is Enyunam. The focus today is on grass cutter farming 
in the urban communities. Gone by was a conversation with Reverend Dominic Zigli, who is also a farmer. He started somewhere in 2016. But now, joining me is Mr. Lai, who has been in this game since 2008, up until now. He's been training a lot of people and doing a lot of things from grass cutter farming. Thank you, Mr. Lai, for joining us. So, before pregnancy comes in, do you force the animals to cross themselves or they are able to cross each other when the time is due? You have to do the checking. Okay. Whether the female is on heat. It's on heat. Before you, you put the male. male. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it, okay. So mm -hmm. it depends on mm. the uh, every month. Okay. The female will come on it uh -huh. every month. Every month. So every once month. in a month. One, once in a month. Okay. It's like All right. human being. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So when you put when you check and the female is on heat and you put the male there, how long do you leave the male there for? Before you are sure they've crossed each other and then you can remove it. Me me like this. Uh -huh. uh, it depends. Uh, me no. um two three months okay. two to three months right and then uh, if I'll, I, I'll do the crossing uh -huh. and I see that the this is it's pregnant is pregnant uh -huh. then, then you move the male. the male okay so when you <coughs> realize the female is pregnant how do you care for it until five months before you give birth uh, you have to you have to take care of Normally, uh -huh. if they are not pregnant, mm. they are active. Ag yeah, aggressive. Okay. But if they are pregnant, mm. then they even if you you, you are clearing the this in the waist, yeah. uh, they need to to they 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 want you to touch them. Okay. Like, uh, Carry it. Like touch them. Uh -huh. So if you put your and in the mm, cage, mm. then they they are coming to they you. They are coming to you. Yeah. Okay, when they are pregnant, yeah. they become very sober. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So after five months, when it give birth, do they also breastfeed their children? Yes. How long? Uh, man farm, uh, one month, maybe one month two weeks. One month two weeks. I have to win the the babies, the babies. and then you start giving them food. Yes. This food, the maize? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. All right. So the babies, do you also give them enough food and leave it for the whole day or you measure the quantity of feed to give them? Uh, it, it depends. Mm. If you mm -hmm. start, you start gradually. Mm. If maybe today mm -hmm. you put maybe five sticks mm. and the next day you come and they finish it, mm. that means you have to put add more. up. Okay. Okay, all right. Are there any mortalities that occur every now and then, especially when they are young? Do you realize that some of them die or all of them survive? Sometimes. It depends on the season. Okay. The season as seen the weather. The weather. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They don't like too much food. Even uh -huh. mm. uh, too mm. much air. Uh, mm. Yeah, so it okay. depends on the, on the season. Yeah, yeah. That would determine if there will be any mortalities yeah, or not. Yeah. Um, is there any form of disease that also affects uh, grass cutter animals? Yeah. Okay, yeah. such as? Um, normally, uh -huh. um, August, September, uh -huh. July, August, September. Right. If the weather changes, then we have pneumonia right. and the other diarrhea uh -huh. and the other few Okay. Medicine. Okay. So how do you prevent this even around August, September? How do you, do you prevent? Is there any medication? Because I know poultry, they have medication. So around that time, is there any medication you give them? Or what do I do to prevent this pneumonia at all? Yeah. So as you can see, mm -hmm. my farm, mm. <coughs> I cover all the the cages. Okay. Only the, only the front ones I use 
the, the front and the middle, uh -huh. I use the net okay. so that they will get uh, hot and, and cold. cold. A balance. Mix, yeah, mix this in. Okay. okay. Weather. Right. Okay. Mr. Lai, who are your customers? Who normally buy your grass cutter from you? Normally, the young ones, the young ones, they have a lot, a lot of them. Okay. Uh, young ones are saying the babies. The, uh, the young ones. The babies. The two to three months. Uh huh. Who buys yeah. them? Is it new farmers? The new farmers. New farmers uh, buy them. Yes. And the matured ones. The mature ones. <laughs> the market does not come. It doesn't like, come often. Oh yeah, like maybe. A seasonal, hmm. maybe. So in the year, in which month do you realize that market is back? In which month are these? Um, the young ones, the year. In the, in the, Every in time, the, in the, it's in moving. The, in the, in the it's time. moving. But the matured ones. Uh, maybe. Is in, it um, individuals, mm. restaurant, choba who no, buy the matured ones? Yes, occasional. Uh -huh. Occasion uh. uh, before you okay. get like okay. December. Right. Is, mm. it, is, it, uh, uh. is there any risk associated? Any risk challenge? Can I get grass cutter? Is there any challenge you people face? Yeah. With, what have, is that? We have, we have a lot of challenge. Such as what? Uh, even even uh -huh. the transportation. Transportation to do what? To bring the this in, the uh, food. The feed. Yeah. From the farm. From the farm to, to your farm as well. It's, it's expensive. Too it's too costly. Uh -huh. If now 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 I have my own motor. Okay. But initially, every 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 three days I have to hire. Motu. To go and bring the feed for feed you. Food. Okay, so apart from transportation, what else? Um, I think um, the off season. Uh -huh. If they start their own, new, hmm. it's hard uh, to come um, by. Sometimes we we'll go out to Australia. Hey, yeah. looking for food. Yes. <laughs> All right. September. Uh huh. July, August, September, yes. November. Okay. We have to move from here to Asutari. Looking for feed? Yes. I see. But on the whole, Mr. Lai, you have been in this from 2008. We are in 2023. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lai! On the whole, would you say this has been a good journey for you? No, it's not bad. It's, uh, Is it okay. good? It's good. It's good. How is the demand for uh, grass cutter meat? Because in Ghana, we know that we like our poultry, our colts, our cow, and, and all that. But when it's come to varieties now, how is the, the demand the, like? The, 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 the young ones there, uh -huh. we, we have markets okay. for the young ones. Right. But the adults, the, adult, the uh -huh. meat. It's a bit slow. Yeah, okay. the, the market's slow. Right. Oh, I have right. some of the. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I have almost four years animal here. Four Which have years. not been sold yet. Yes. Okay. I have four years. But I how long? Years. That reminds me. My last question: How long the female one? How long can it be giving birth before you decide that it has outgrown? It will animal home. How long? Um. I think five. Five, six times will be okay. After five, six times of childbirth, yes. you can sell it off. Yeah. All right, Mr. Lai. Thank you very much. You're so that's been Mr. Lai. He doesn't like talking. I have to force him to talk. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Yeah. You can see it yourself. My name is Enyo Nam, and this has been the Ghanaian farmer. The spotlight today has been on grass cutter farming. It's a good business, a very, very profitable business. But of course, you need to create awareness. You need to enlighten consumers about why you can eat grass cutter and enjoy it like you enjoy your goat or your cow. So yeah. if you're looking for other animals to venture into, grass cutter is something you can consider. Your number 
Is there a number we can call if you want to buy the matured ones you yes. have? Please give it out. 0244 523 923. Please maintain again. 0244 523 923. Okay. All right. So that's Mr. Lai's number. If you want to buy the matured one or even the small one to start, he will be glad to assist you. He does training as well. He is also a carpenter. That's man. <laughs> so all the cage you see here, nobody charge him more. <laughs> Mr. Lai himself put his cage together. So it's, it's a, a one-stop shop. If you want to go into grass cutter and you call his number, come straight to Nungwa. He will do everything for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any clarification, share with us on our YouTube channel. But please remember to subscribe and share the link. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. You're welcome.